Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about a fight that, quite frankly, is too risky. For DwyerVIP.com, I cannot recommend it to paid viewers. But it's the kind of fight where I think I know who the winner is, and so in this high-risk contest, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring on it, right? It's the Bantamweight Championship fight between Champion and Selmo Moreno, who I consider to be one of boxing's very best pound for pound, and he's taking on a challenger with far more power than him, a 68% knockout ratio, David Delamora. Now let's talk about the risk element in this one. The kind of fighters I like to bet on are fighters who literally are so brilliant to the naked eye that you can glance at them and say, wow, he's winning the fight. This guy has undressed his opponent. You know, this guy is literally dominating this fight with great defense, hand speed, flashiness, whatever. Think Ray Leonard. Right, where when Ray Leonard's on a roll, you look at him and even the guy in the back row in the arena knew that Ray Leonard was on top. I want to see flurries. I want to see power. You know, a Mike Tyson, you knew he was winning fights because either he was standing over a guy on the canvas or the guy was holding him as if he was his girlfriend. Right? Well, Camilo Moreno is a spectacular fighter. He is really good. When you watch a match of his, like his match, which is online right now, against Vic Darchinian, it's just amazing how good the guy looks. Right? Think Pernell Whitaker. He's literally ducking under punches. He's working the angles. So when Darchinian throws his power hand, it has to get through Moreno's shoulder before it gets close to his head, right? Moreno can also bend at the knees. He's constantly moving around. He's the guy who you start to throw a punch on. He hits you with a shot. Then he ducks under the punch you're throwing, goes off to the side, and then hits you with a combination. Right? Some fighters are just slick fighters. And if you want to know what I mean by slick, you need to look at a film of Camito Moreno. He is a beautiful fighter. He's fun to watch. Here's the problem. His game is subtle. Sometimes judges have a hard time ringside appreciating the brilliance. Right? They see a guy with not a lot of knockout power making the other guy miss systematically outboxing him. Think Craig McEwen in the early rounds against Andy Lee. And because there aren't a lot of power shots, because what the guy is doing is just bobbing, weaving, blocking, ducking, hitting, throwing a combination, then getting out of the way, Sometimes judges are less than impressed. They've been less than impressed in several Camito Moreno fights. In fact, four of his fights, four, have been split decision victories. Right? That makes it too risky, quite frankly, to bet big money on him. I prefer when I'm researching a fighter, to see the matches that went to decision be widely in his favor by four, five, six rounds. Then you can say, okay, great. My guy was putting on a show. My guy knows how to impress judges. Unfortunately, I don't see that with Camito Moreno. Let me just say this. He impresses me on film. When I watch him, I say, wow, this guy's one of the top talents in the sport. You know, he is just very hard to hit square. 
he's very hard, whether he's in the middle of the ring or up on the ropes, to deal with. Even against shorter guys like Victor Chinian, he's ducking under punches, right? He literally has dissected opponents by the third round. He knows that one hand isn't the dominant hand. The dominant hand, the other guy can only throw a hook with it. So he literally knows how to set it up. So he's hitting the guy and then he's far enough away where if the guy hits him, it bounces off his back. Right? That's rare in boxing. Unfortunately, it's also unappreciated in boxing. I like Moreno over De La Mora. De La Mora is one of these guys who comes in, has punching power, throws volume, can rough you up. But here's the catch. Moreno doesn't stay in front of you that long. He's always moving to the side. He's always working angles. There's going to be a time where he suddenly pops up next to De La Mora. And the question is, how effective is De La Mora at turning, defending himself, and dealing with the constant movement? And I would say, particularly after looking at the Kamita fight, that's on YouTube, uh, where De La Mora fought a champion and lost and seemed to me to have a problem with the movement, right? And I don't consider Koki Kamita to be as good as Kamito Moreno. I believe De La Mora is going to have all kinds of problems with Kamito Moreno's movement. And I also question whether De La Mora can fight backing up. In other words, in a fight where a big bully suddenly finds himself unable to land punches against a defensive wizard who then is forcing him to turn and possibly defend himself from punches coming at the side. I think De La Mora, who does have quick hands, is going to have a hard time. This is a quality fight. I like the favorite in this one. I like Camito Moreno. But let's just say I would not bet a lot of money on this because Moreno doesn't have great punching power. And if the fight does go the distance, right, then it'll be in the hands of the judges. And I'm not sure if the judges appreciate great defense and an ability to turn an opponent and an ability to counter an opponent as much as hardcore boxing fans like we do. Okay, I like Camito Moreno in this one. I'm expecting him to turn De La Mora like a top. I'm expecting him to make De La Mora look inflexible, unable to bend at the waist like Camito Moreno is able to do. Understand too that Moreno is one of the sport's more underrated fighters. He's actually been a champion for a while. But yet his name is not that well known. In the ring, he is a chemist. If you want to know what a very slick fighter looks like, if you want to see today's equivalent of Pernell Whitaker, this is the guy I recommend you watch. I like Camilo Moreno over David De La Mora, but it's risky. Moreno doesn't have the long track record of dominating on the scorecards. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.